the beginning of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It has been noted that this first sentence of St. Mark's gospel is not a title for the first chapter, but for the entirety of the book. Jesus' life and death on earth, together with his resurrection, is a beginning of good news, good news of perpetual beginning, life, rather than a progressive end, death. The good news is actually that the world remains in a state of beginning. Even the last book of the Bible ends with Jesus declaring, I am both the beginning and the end. The end and the beginning are one and the same. The good news is not just an event of history that a baby was born 2,000 years ago. Neither is it just that God considered us worthy of visiting us. Rather, the good news is that by uniting his divinity with our humanity, God opened a two-way door, one that remains open here and now. God continues to enter our life and invites us to begin, to become partakers of the divine nature, as we read in the second letter of St. Peter. This good news continues by the power of the Holy Spirit as the members of the Church unite ourselves with the Holy Sacrifice and proclaim with our lives salvation in Jesus Christ. This good news is always new and always good. By the human conception and birth of Jesus Christ, Son of God, God allows us to regain that humanity that Adam and Eve knew in the Garden of Eden. He allows us to be fully human, fully alive. In this way, God shows that he is God and calls us to humanity in its fullness. Our participation is important. Christians know what is meant to be fully alive even if we don't always live accordingly. We see lives from the perspective of beginning and rely on the mercy of God as we grow to full maturity in Christ. We find the theme of beginning a number of times in Holy Scripture. Jesus reminds us that in the beginning of time, humanity was created male and female, complementing each other. This serves as an icon for all right relationships. St. Paul describes Jesus' changing of water into wine as the beginning of his miracles. These miracles continue to this very day for those who would see them. St. Paul connects our holiness and fidelity to the truth with the beginning. He also teaches that we must share with the world our knowledge of Jesus Christ as he refers to him as the beginning. Righteous living, cooperation with God's miraculous actions, remaining holy within the true faith, sharing that faith, are all part of being fully alive, signs of beginning. In this way we may realize that in the words of the Broadway musical Pearly, the world ain't coming to an end, my friend. The world's just coming to a start. This knowledge is the source of our hope as we note losses and disappointments. This knowledge is the source of hope for our church. This knowledge is the source of hope for the world. We are for beginning, not ending. This is why we may image Jesus Christ as an infant, This is why we use the word is rather than was when we proclaim Christ is born, glorify him.